Hey, it's April 2nd, that makes it a Tuesday, and this is the Roger Williams Media Minute. Today I wanted to talk to you about professionalism, and specifically two aspects of professionalism. First one is being on time, and the second one is not crying like a baby. I had a situation earlier today uh, where I was working for a client, we had to do a press conference, and we had an issue where someone was very late. Okay, I'm not talking just a few minutes, I'm talking 15 minutes into the press conference. They wanted to show up into the small room, make a disturbance, kind of throw things off course. Uh, I, I'm aware that that doesn't happen a lot to press people where they're not allowed in, but you know what, when you're 15 minutes late, you just, you're not going to come into my press conference if it's a small room and we're already rolling. Just kind of what I'm rolling with. This person did not take it well, and then they continue to cry like a baby. So that brings me to my second point. So when I'm talking about professionalism, there's very there's a whole bunch of levels, okay? But there's very few things that you need to kind of hold on to just to maintain that seeming presence that, hey, you should be getting paid for what you're doing. The first one is being on time. Look, I am late for just about everything in a personal situation. In a professional situation, there are times where I am still late. Uh, but those are not when it's a first time meeting with somebody and even if I am going to be late, I do call ahead before I'm going to be late, letting them know that that's going to happen. Typically what I try and do is aim to be there early and therefore I'm either early and I can surf the web or maybe do some more preparation or I get there just about on time because, you know, I daydream and all types of other things come up. Uh, but you know, just being on time shows somebody that you're there seriously, you mean business, you're paying attention, and you care about what's going on. If you can't even show up on time, it really does tell people, even subconsciously, even if you don't mean it, it tells them that it's not the most important thing going on and you might want to be doing something else. So just try and be on time. Which brings me to my second point, don't cry like a baby. Look. I have nothing against babies. Babies are great, they have their places, but babies like to cry. And that's because they're a baby. They're allowed to do that. You, however, are an adult getting paid to do a job. Which means you're not allowed to cry like a baby, or cry at all. Instead, what you need to do is be able to air your grievances in a calm, rational manner, and hope to come to some sort of a conclusion that is rationally thought out, and makes sense and is equitable for everybody involved. Now there might be times where you just kind of got screwed because A, you were late, so you already violated the first principle of professionalism, and B, you, didn't, you weren't able to get your story because you were late. So you kind of screwed yourself there, meaning you shouldn't cry about it because it's that much more embarrassing to yourself and your whole organization because you were late and now you're crying about it and making yourself look that much less professional. Hold on to those two things. Be on time and don't cry like a baby and I guarantee you anywhere from like 20 to 70 percent success rate, maybe more, maybe less, who knows, but just try and hold on to those two things and I will appreciate it. If you're working with me, even if you suck at everything else that you do, I will recognize that you were on time and you didn't cry like a baby. You might still get fired, but hey, at least you had those two things going for you. Enjoy a sandwich for lunch. Let me know what you think about this subject. Uh, I know there's a whole bunch of other things to talk about and discuss, but those are two things that are important to me, especially as I said, I had an event earlier today where this came up. Uh, there's the email address, the YouTube comments are right down there. Love to hear from you. Other than that, tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll see you there. Rock and roll.